I want you to take a moment right now and think of an 85 year old you know. What is this 85 year old like? Are they spunky? Are they vivacious? Or are they like the 85 year olds I know who are just barely getting by? Who are enjoying the golden years but not not vibrant, not full of life. I have to admit, I don't know a lot of 85 year olds. It's not a lot of people who get to that point in life with the average life expectancy being about 80 years old. But for a moment, I want to paint you a picture of a man named Herb Kelleher. Herb Kelleher is 85 years old at this exact moment. Um, and you know what? Since the time he was young, he has, smoked a cig he has smoked cigarettes every single day. His favorite drink is tur wild turkey. Uh, his, what he loves to have for breakfast is cheese crackers. This is not a man who, who thrives on health products, but he thrives on passion, he thrives on life. And who is he? He is the founder of Southwest Airlines, my favorite airline. Admit, I'm biased, it's my favorite airlines because my husband works for them, uh, so I thoroughly enjoy them as a, as a company because they treat their employees so phenomenally. But we're focusing on Herb Kelleher who created this company that treats not only its, client, its clientele but also its, the word I'm looking for, also its employees so wonderfully. Herb Kelleher started Southwest Airlines when he was 35 years old. At the time, he was a lawyer owning and running his own law firm, and someone came to him with this idea to start an airline. And he thought about it for a few days, and then he said, heck, let's do it, let's go for it. He did not say heck, he actually swears quite a bit, but you know, he said, let's go for it. So he went for it. And at the time, he worked with Southwest Airlines, starting Southwest Airlines, and owned his own law firm for 10 years, the entire 70s. He ran both at the same time. It wasn't until about 81 that he left his law firm and dedicated himself entirely to Southwest Airlines. So this is a man who lived to work. He says he shared a time that one day he was two days in his law firm. He came home, brushed his teeth, changed his outfit, and then went to a fundraising activity for Southwest Airlines. And this is a man who potentially could have a lot of stress in his life. One time he actually went to a stress management class and the, the presenter was presenting to the class and he turned to Herb and he said, Herb, you're a man who has a lot of stress in your life. How do you cope with it? And Herb thought about that. He said, you know what? I don't cope with it. I actually love it. I love it. I thrive on it. Think about that for a moment. How do you view stress? To you, is it something scary like, <gasps> I'm so stressed out? Or for you, is it something exciting? Is it something that you get up in the morning because you're excited for the challenges? For Herb, it was. And this is actually something medically backed up as well. The way we view stress is how it affects our body. If we have a negative view on how stress affects us, it affects us, you know, it could hurt it can cause heart conditions, it might cause weight gain, stress eating, we've all heard of that, heck, I've done that. <laughs> and so, but really, if we wanna have the mind of a conqueror, the mind of a billionaire, Herb's net worth is $2.2 billion, Southwest Airlines right now is estimated at about a value of about $20 billion as a company. So if you wanna have the mindset of someone who is successful, of someone who is thriving, you need to change something the way you view stress. Don't think it as it the enemy, but as the challenge of the dragon to be slain. I promise you, as you do this, you'll become more productive and you'll have more energy to get up during the day too and actually start creating your life elevated. I know you could do this, I believe in you. Now get out there and start living your life elevated, start exceeding your Everest today.